Hey, what's up guys? Today in this video, let's look at uploading files through Adonis to S3 bucket. So using the drive uh, module of Adonis, we will be using the Adonis drive S3 you know, uh, to start uploading files. The API which Adonis uses is in a way that the drive is your single source of communication when it comes to uploading files and internally you can switch between different service providers for example while you are doing development you can use your local file system whereas on production you may rely on s3 okay so the drive allows you to switch between drivers or switch between file systems quite easily with the same API which you know underneath the hood it is changing its implementation okay so we will be looking at that before we address that I have a couple of things one I have created an IAM user which has programmatic access so this is my s3 key and there was an API key which I received and that's what I will be required to enter once you have the IAM role, obviously you need an S3 bucket. So S3 bucket for now is empty for me. Okay, I haven't done anything. And with this in place, let's try to upload files. Okay, so the first thing which we will have to do is obviously configure the drive. So why don't we install this first? While this is happening, I'll just quickly show you what we have done so far if you're coming to this video or directly so this is my you are a local host 3333 and there is a file upload api i am sending a banner if i do send it says file uploaded and within the temp folder i can see the image okay this is the image which i uploaded and as you can see the code here is quite simple okay let's go directly here we are validating the file using this schema we are saying that the file size should be 2 mb or less extensions which we are right now allowing are gif and png and once that is done we move the banner to a path which we have decided over here and that's why that banner upload 1111 okay so this is the basic thing which we have been doing for uploading a file to our local file system. This is going to work for you when you have only a single server with you know a, a big file system and you expect that, I mean, you don't expect too many files to be very frank. But the moment you have a big application or you want to do load balancing and stuff, this mechanism of handling files will not work for you. And that's why you need a single point of upload of all the files and things like S3 or Digital Ocean Droplet. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what is that called. Digital Ocean Spaces, right? Spaces. These kind of stuff are recommended for your application. Okay, fair enough. So installation is done. Let's see what is the next step. It says Node is configure S3. Let's do that. Let me blow it up a bit. What is it doing? <coughs> um, select where to display the instructions. I'll say inside the terminal is fine. Okay, there are certain things which it has done. Let's see what are those. So first of all, updated ENV, SES key, SES secret, bucket name, region, S3 endpoint. Okay, let's look at the ENV. yes this is something which got added to our env file fair enough uh, let me copy this inside the example as well okay those are added as well so that's fine next blow it up again uh, tsconfig.json this was added fine uh, let let us quickly look at that tsconfig 
where is tsconfig.json? Right, this was added over here, so that's fine as well. Um, then the next thing is Adonis RC. You know, this is like the bootstrapper, so yes, some of the things will be added over here as well. Here we go. Fine. So these things are done, these are updated, that is fine. And then certain configurations were made. env.ts, this is a file which is like a rule engine for our environment variables and it says open this file and paste the following inside the code okay so we need to add this let's copy this oops copy paste so we are saying that s3 key secret bucket region everything are strings expected strings Endpoint is also a string, but it is optional. Fair enough. This is done. Inside the contracts file, you must inform the TypeScript static compiler about the disk. Yes. So this is something which is found over here. Contracts drive. Okay. And I think I just need to uncomment this. Yeah. So far, so good this is done and then define the configuration yes so um i mean the environment variables i need to add obviously uh, i have you know the rule engine the environment ts where i have specified what kind of values i am expecting but then i need to take that inside the configuration right so that's where config drive comes into picture okay let's go down here so this is fine local driver only base path this is done and then this is my s3 stuff why don't we simply uncomment this and everything is there for you you just need to uncomment things and you, you should be fine okay so this is done and is manifest json file was created that is again nothing for us to worry um with this done the last piece is adding those keys let me do that inside my env like this okay i haven't defined the endpoint because i always thought that was optional so why do we need to add one if we don't require it okay so my key my secret the bucket name and the region these four things are mandatory once this is done let's see if we are able to upload something to our s3 bucket okay um so yeah let me not do that instead await post data okay and then banner dot let's just say now we were using move but move doesn't allow us to define the uh, disk okay we have two disk if you if you understand so let me show you so this is drive.ts right in here i have two disks right now one is the local and the other one is s3 but again my default drive is i'm assuming it's still set to local which means by default if i do a move it will upload to my local file system but if i explicitly want to define that one option is to do that to do it here okay so first one is the location options i don't want to send any options if i want i can do that for example what is the name of the file and stuff but adonis will generate a random file for you which is something which i want I don't want to create some of my own file name. I don't want to go inside that. Okay. But then once that is done, let's do one thing. Let's put it inside a try catch as well, because this is, you know, going to an external service. Things can go wrong. We never know. Uh, constant image. And let me see what is coming back from S3. So console.log image, something like that and then our catch block error and let's see what's 
uh, coming inside the error if we are able to generate an error for for us okay so this is done right let me delete this folder as well just to be sure right continue please will it delete or will it ask again i don't know it is deleting okay delete permanently some questions being asked multiple times and this is done server is running so let's try uploading the file so i'll go to postman inside postman i have the url body um sending form data this is banner of type file and hence i have selected this image let's hit send it says file uploaded okay image didn't return anything but then let's see if we got anything in our s3 bucket refresh and yes we do inside test we have one file you can see it's a random generated string right the time is correct it's 7 30 in the morning utc uh, plus five and a half which is ist so yes you know the file is getting uploaded let me quickly see whether the file is correct or not and it is so this is how i was able to upload um images into s3 bucket right one important thing for you to understand and this is a discussion which i had with um i mean i created a discussion on adonis um core repository and what i understood from the maintainer here Virk, is i'll show you initially i was having some you know problem uploading the file and then where is my discussion right so i said i mean my code was quite simple but it was saying you know i cannot write file to a location and then he guided me on certain things and then i understood that i have when i did acl enabled it was allowing me to upload the file so what is happening over here is my approach is i'm allowing uh, access control for individual files where i can decide whether that particular file is a public file or a private file but then i asked Vic as well where whether you know this is the correct thing the only thing which he can recommend right now is again we need to read upon it but the basic permissions which we will typically require the drive will need is list the bucket get object get object acl port put object acl things like that so this is something which i need to try out i will definitely create a video once i get a hang of it but again you know this is security there is uh, a lot of questions around every line that you write and i don't want to re prescribe or recommend something uh, before i myself am clear about it but yes you know right now the basic thing which i can tell you is that my permissions here for the ownership object ownership is set to acl enabled if i do this as disabled and i try to upload the file okay it throws an error okay that ah yeah i'm returning after uh, outside the catch block so yeah, it doesn't really make sense that's a wrong code uh, i should have this here i mean something like this but yeah that is not the you know uh, question right now or that is not something which we are talking about the thing is it says cannot write file to a location which means it is not able to upload because of the policies and yes excel access control list not supported and the only thing which i was able to immediately do was object ownership but then yeah this is something which i will need to read up and once i have some clarity maybe i will prescribe that so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel